RBGFM, locals talking to locals. Back on Transmission Gully we are, and this time a little bit closer to Kapiti than we have been. We're actually at Mackay's Crossing, or Sangsu Quarter. It's the northernmost part of Transmission Gully, and with me is the zone manager, Hardis. How are you, bud? Good, thanks. Are you? Excellent. Thank you, sir. So it's been an interesting thing to be driving through here. There seems to be an awful lot of work just behind us with a whole lot of hills all covered with white cloth. Yeah, that's all geodextile, you know, so sediment erosion control measures to try and minimise any runoff of our falls, so huge effort going into that. We'd see a lot of changes at Mackay's, so what are those changes and how are they going to affect us? So at Mackay's at the moment, you'll see NZTA is doing some maintenance work there at the moment out there, so that's pretty major work. They're uh, doing a rehab of both the northbound and southbound lane. At the same time, they're also doing improvements to the safety barriers and stormwater drainage. i got to say, this is not part of Transmission Gully, but it is coordinated with us to make sure it fits in with our program. So there's a small opportunity, a window for this work to happen before we actually do the next stage of our traffic management down here at Mackay's Crossing. When is it likely that we're going to be starting to drive on that new piece of motorway from Mackay's through the on-ramp at Queen Elizabeth Park? What's happening here, that's a local road, you know, in the future, obviously, after Transmission Gully is open. At the moment, we'll switch traffic onto that section late October, early November, early spring, really. Dependent on, really, two sort of main issues that we could have that delays that will be weather. We've got the wet months of June, July and August ahead of us, so it depends how much work time we get in there and the other one is because it's the wetland area there we've obviously got a preload embankment and monitoring our settlement there so we've got some set criteria that we need to meet so that will be the two reasons that we don't make the date of late october early november the preloading that's the big hills that you've made is that right correct so if you're driving at the moment on the existing state highway one where you see the sand or the full embankment higher than where you're driving that'll be removed down and the pavement will be a similar sort of level that's the preloading we're talking about filling above the final road level what's the speed limit going to be like through here and how's that going to affect rush hour traffic yeah that's a big question of course it will remain the same as what we have at the moment it'll be 80 kilometers an hour once we do the switch there will be a bit of a settlement period for traffic and commuters just to get used to it you know the merge will be slightly further towards the north but i don't believe it will make too much of a difference long term you know on anybody the key message is there's really when you see the changes go out try and really maintain a consistent speed and keep a safe following distance and drive to the conditions. Last week we were talking to Fred Whitten and he was talking about the fact that you're going to be trialling some of the pavement surfaces on this section of road. How many different pieces of pavement do you think you'll be trying? There'll be a, probably only a couple there really in this first section you know so it'll be a combination of a chips hill and maybe a SMA layer in there. Further sections down south I'm sure Fred will do some further trials on it. How long is it going to take to build the next Paikakariki interchange and the new bridge that's going in? So the bridge at the moment just behind us here going really well. The north abutment wall is very 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 close to the top there and then the south abutment wall is about 60% complete. After the walls are finished the superstructure work will commence. The deck is sort of planned to be poured in December and then the finishing touches on the bridge, the barriers and and so forth will be going in early next year. Once we do the traffic switch in October there's about a 10 to 12 month program for us to finish the rest of the work off before traffic will then use the main part of the main alignment of transmission gully up to obviously where the bridge is and then connecting to Pycock. That is sort of scheduled for mid next year, mid 2019. It sounds like a huge amount of work for you, Hardis. Oh no, look, you know, we're well placed. Obviously winter is going to slow us down slightly. We hope not too much and uh, we're ready for a challenge. Fabulous stuff. As always, lovely talking to you. That's Hardis, the Northern Zone Manager for Transmission Gully. The message is, if you're driving through Mackay's and round through Sangsu Corner, watch for the changes that are coming up and particularly around October. It is going to be loads of fun. The very best of luck to all of the team on Transmission Gully. I'm Crispy for Beach FM 106.3. 106.3 Beach FM.